In this video, we are going to solve these four questions which are from previous year SNAP papers. First of all, let's start with question number 129. How many words each of two vowels and three consonants can be formed from the letters of the word universal? So first of all, let's separate all the vowels and all the consonants. So U, N, I, V, E, R, S, A and L. So total four vowels are there, five consonants are there, there is no any repetition. We need to choose two from this and we need to choose three from this means we need to form a five letter word. In the initial, in the given word there is no any repetition. So in our five letter word also there is no any repetition. So in how many ways we can choose two vowels from these four, four C2. In how many ways we can choose three consonants from this five consonants, five C2. Five C3, we need to choose three consonants from five. So now we are having five alphabets. In how many ways we can arrange these five alphabets all together? In five factorial ways. So our answer is going to be 4C2. That is nothing but 4 into 3 divided by 2. That is 6. 5C3 is same as 5C2. That is 5 into 4 divided by 2, 10. 5 factorial is 120. So if you multiply this, 12, 6 is 72 and double zero. So how many five letter words we can form? 7200, option number two. After this, question number 130. Three pipes A, B and C can fill a tank in 12 hours. All the pipes started working together and after three hours, pipe C is closed. If A and B can fill the remaining part in 10 hours, then the number of hours taken by C alone to fill the tank is how much? So over here, what we'll assume is pipe A alone require A hours to fill the tank. Pipe B alone require B hours to fill the tank and pipe C alone require C hours. And when all three pipes works together, 1 by A plus 1 by B plus 1 by C, this is their per hour work which is equal to 1 by 12. Question says that first three hours, pipe A, B and C are going to work together. So the work done in first three hours is 3 into 1 by 12. After that, pipe C is closed for the next 10 hours. Pipe C is closed, so pipe A and B will work for next 10 hours. So 10 hours into per hour work of pipe A and B is going to be 1 by A plus 1 by B into 10 hours is the work done by pipe A and B together in 10 hours. Over here the tank is filled means total work done is 1. So the value of 10 times 10 times 1 by A plus 1 by B is equal to 1 minus 3 into 1 by 12 is 1 by 4. So the value of 1 by A plus 1 by B is equal to 1 minus 1 by 4 is 3 by 4. 3 by 4 divided by 10 is 3 by 40. So let's put 1 by A plus 1 by B is equal to 3 by 40 in this equation. So this equation will become 3 divided by 40 plus 1 divided by C is equal to 1 by 12. So over here, 1 divided by C is equal to 1 by 12 minus 3 divided by 40. The LCM is 120. So this is going to be 10 minus 9. 1 divided by C is equal to 1 divided by 120. So the value of C is going to be 120. That is option number 3. The time taken by pipe C alone is 120 hours. After this, question number 131. If the numbers between 1 to 65 which will be divisible by 4 are taken and then if the numbers present in the unit place and tens place are swapped, post which they are written in ascending order, then which of the following will be at 10th place from last. First of all, let's understand question. All the multiples of 4 starting from 1 to 65. These are 0, 4, 0, 8, 1, 2, 1, 6 and so on till 6, 4. 
so total how many numbers are there total 16 numbers are there which are multiple of 4 now we need to swap the unit place and last place so what we need to understand that over here the unit digits are going to be what over here the numbers are going to be in which format the unit digit 0 or the unit digit 2 or the unit digit 6 sorry unit digit 4 then unit digit 6 then unit digit 8 these are the five possible types of numbers after swap after swap they will become 0 dash okay then 2 dash then 4 dash then 6 dash then 8 dash if we arrange these numbers in ascending order first of all all the numbers which starts with 0 will come then all the numbers which starts with 2 then 4 then 6 and then 8 we want 10th number 10th number from last total 16 numbers are there so 10th number from last is nothing but 7th number from start so look here so first of all 20 is a multiple of 4 so after swap it will become 0 2 then 40 is a multiple of 4 after swap it becomes 0 4 60 is also a multiple of 4 after swap it becomes 0 6 that's it starting with 0 now starting with 2 starting with 2 means 12 12 is a multiple of 4 after swap it will become 21 after that 22 is not 32 is a multiple of 4 after swap it will become 23 then 42 no 52 is a multiple of 4 after swap it will become 25 after 52 there is no any number which ends with 2 and multiple of 4 in this range 1 to 64 so now the numbers which starts with 4 okay 0 4 0 4 is a number which is a multiple of 4 after swap it will become 4 0 we want seventh number from start so 1 2 3 4 5 6 seventh number is 40 everyone that is option number 1 this is how we can solve this question number 132 Ajit Ravi and Hari were trying to hit a target if Ajit hits the target five times in eight attempts Ravi hits it in three times in five attempts Hari hits it two times in four attempts what is the probability that target is hit by at least two persons so let's have a look at it the probability of Ajit will hit the target the probability of Ajit will hit the target is 5 divided by it so Ajit will not hit the target is 3 divided by it then Ravi hits the target is 3 out of 5 Ravi does not hit the target is 2 out of 5 Hari hits the target is 2 out of 4 means 1 divided by 2. So Hari does not hit the target is also 1 divided by 2. We want at least 2 persons to hit the target. So there are total 4 cases are there. The first case is A and R hit the target. H does not hit the target. Or the second case is A, R, H. A and H hit the target. R does not hit. Third case is a does not hit whereas R and H hit the target and we want at least two person to hit the target okay it includes more than two as well or the last case is all of them hit the target so the probability of A hits the target is 5 by 8 R hits the target 3 by 5 H does not hit the target 1 by 2 or means addition a hits 5 by 8 r does not hit 2 by 5 h hits 1 by 2 or means addition a does not hit 5 by 8 r hits 3 by sorry a does not hit is 3 divided by 8 r hits is 3 divided by 5 h hits is 1 divided by 2 or everyone hits all three of them are going to hit the target the probability of that event is 5 by 8 into 3 by 5 into 1 by 2 you can see that the denominators are same 
for all three fractions all four fractions okay all four terms that is 80 the numerator is going to be 5 3 is a 15 plus 10 plus 9 plus 15 this addition is going to be 30 40 49 by 80 so the final probability is 80